Inside this little baggie are all the tools necessary to help a crack addict get high. It's a crack pipe kit, and it's free. And Manitoba's NDP government, through the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority, is now handing out twice as many of these kits to junkies, compared to when the program first launched full-time in 2005. According to a September 2012 report from the Health Authority, crack addicts can now get up to five taxpayer-funded pipe kits per day, and crack house operators are also entitled, astonishingly, to five kits a day. In total, a staggering 24,000 safer crack use kits were handed out to addicts in 2011 at a cost of more than $14,000, more than double the 10,000 kits given out in 2005. The WRHA says the kits help reduce communicable diseases like HIV and hepatitis C, and more kits are being distributed due to a high level of requests, according to the report. But the Winnipeg Police Association doesn't believe the kits are helpful and is concerned about the increase in demand for them. Isn't the idea to wean people off of drugs, not enable them to use drugs uh, uh, much more prevalently? Uh, the issue is whenever there's drug use, there's at-risk behaviors. There's prostitution, which also spreads communicable disease. There's crime and crime-related behaviors to feed those sorts of addictions. I think society would be best served and uh, the citizens of Winnipeg would be best served if we put our money into effective programs that weaned people off of addicted, addictive substances rather than continue to enable them to use drugs that are ultimately harmful not only to themselves but to the community uh, as a whole. The WRHA argues that even if they prevent one user a year from contracting HIV or hepatitis C, then the program is worth it. The problem is the health authority has never performed an independent controlled study to find out. For Sun News in Winnipeg, I'm Nicole Dubay.